Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. No bumper. We're going to get straight into it. Artist number 88 out of 133 favorite artists. So the criteria is below, but mainly I rank discographies, live experience, my general interest, books, magazines, DVDs, just how excited am I by the band. And this is someone that is, uh, but well, before we get into it, so the criteria is below. I also have a Patreon link below. You can go there, either support me financially or for free. It's up to you. And uh, also, uh, you know, I got a Spotify playlist link for this artist. So I made a playlist for everybody. And some people are getting on there and listening to the music. I really appreciate that. That's fun. Uh, some people are not familiar with everybody on here and are on a discovery journey. I think that's cool. Really appreciate it. So this is a post-punk band from London. So that could be anybody, right? <laughs> There's a million ones. And uh, yeah, so um, who is this post-punk band from London? We are talking, I, I can't give you any hints. So I'll just tell you it's the Psychedelic Furs. And I've seen them two times in concert. So I saw them in uh, the spring of 83, the Forever Now tour. And in the spring of 84, the Mirror Moves tour. The opening band for them at that time was a then lesser known, the Bangles. Yeah, that was fun. So the Bangles only had uh, their first album had just come out. They hadn't blown up yet, and they were good, but I was there to see the Furs, and yeah, you know, and I think I I went to Setlist FM to see, uh, no, I have seen them twice. I was thinking maybe I'd seen them three times. Now, I don't have any physical anymore, because what I did was I, I had a, I had like all their CDs. I had 45s all sorts of stuff, and I sold it because of this great two-disc set uh, retrospective, The Best of the Psychedelic Furs. I brought that down here to Mexico. I said, that's everything I need. And then there's a record store here in town, and somebody walked in. They asked for that specific CD, and the owner contacted me, and he said, would you be willing to sell it? And I had it marked, not for sale in my uh, database, but I broke down. Somebody wanted it. I said, okay, I can stream the band. So now I don't have anything by them, but I am a big fan. And the songs I like, you know, I mean, I love the smoky voice of Richard Butler. Just love him. But some of my favorite songs here on this playlist, I love, uh, I love India. Sister Europe is a real favorite of mine. Imitation of Christ was great in concert. He just, oh, he's got a very Bowie-esque kind of uh, persona. And um, Pretty in Pink, Forever Now, Love My Way, President Gas, The Ghost in You, Here Come Cowboys, Alice's House. Yeah, lots of good songs that I like. You got that raspy vocal with these uh, kind of um, dark arrangements, uh, but with real melody. Yeah, so they are, you know, their lyrics are often dark. Pretty in Pink is about a car crash. And, you know, so uh, they're kind of gloom and doom, but everything is melodic. And you th yeah, I just, I, I, I love them. Uh, the production varies, of course. Todd Rundgren worked with them at one point. And uh, no matter who they worked with, I always thought it worked out pretty darn well. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Um, I don't know. I just, every time I think I'm, I'm you know, eh, you know, I, every time I put them on, I just get so into the music. Um, yeah, my, f my favorite album, I think is forever now, but the first three are no, actually the first four. I think the first four albums are awesome. Then they took a little bit of a dive, but yeah, really good live band. So that's it. I'll wrap it up as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, Buen Dia.